pretty big drop in the first quarter. It feels it feels like that a little bit, but you know, um, but obviously, you know, we'll have to see because you know the Fed did pivot in in December. The market is holding. Do they care in January? Um, so one other thing, I'll ask you is, is what if if you if you believe what Elon said. And if if you believe that we have a recession in June, July, August, does the market crater on a recession? Usually, I'll give uh, you twenty twenty. I, I would think I would think the market has multiple two hundred point SPX down days. If that's true, yeah. I mean that's my opinion. I mean, and but if if we're down. 500 into that, I would say, no, I changed my mind. I changed, I changed my mind. I'm like, you know, yes, that I did. Yes, I, no, wonder, I wonder what uh, uh, his thought is on, on why we may go into recession. You know, I don't, I didn't watch the interview or I don't know if it, that was a tweet. It, you know, what, what what's the overarching, uh, uh, you know, uh, theme on, on, on that? Is it, is it because of supply issues and, and basically it's going to finally catch up? You know, um, uh, it's interesting. Yep. Yeah. Here comes Google. Okay. <laughs> How about that sell on SPX? Nice, right? You get up early, you sell it. And then we see, and then we see. Uh, okay, good morning, good morning, everybody. 31st. 31st, national championship game. All you need to know is one thing, Michigan. Michigan, that's what you need to know. Okay? Okay, that's national championship. Then the Cowboys. This could be a good year. This could be a great year. Okay. Uh, SPX uh, down six. We sold our SPXs. Do we rip positive? Here's the thing. It's struggling at 4,800. It should not be struggling. So that tells you something. Remember what happened at 4,700? It struggled at 4,700, and then we dropped 250 points. Okay, so just know that. Know that. Just If you know it, you're okay. Okay. We sold our SPXs, now we're sitting, uh, we're going to see, we may buy some back uh, if it happens. I think we go Tesla's 4,800 again, I think we go positive, then we see, then we see. NVIDIA, 303 couldn't get through, 303 can't get through, okay? 291 bad, ASML, see if it rips through uh, 821, just waiting, waiting. LAM Research, Micron said something really bad that kind of spooked people yesterday. It's good and bad news. They said some of the places in China are closing, the semiconductor places, so, so you're going to start getting shortages again. Now, that's good for Micron from the perspective of, of the prices stay higher of this stuff. It's bad for the chips from if this is prolonged, then you're back to where you were six months ago. And, 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 and does this go on forever? Very possible. Okay, so just know that. It's good and bad news, okay? Land research, huge move from 580. It's come from 580, 726. Avago, very nice move from 600. We caught this one at 580 for earnings, and it's 660. It's up 100 points, okay? 681, Amazon. If the market crumbles today, if this thing were to close under 3,300, it would tell you, that there's a possible monster move next week going lower. Not saying that's going to happen. Keeping an eye on it because they're so cheap on the 3300s. Then we see, then we see. Okay? Snowman. Here's the thing. And if you watch premiums, you've seen this. We bought these at two. The stock moved up five. He took them to three for five minutes. Then, then he took them lower. And it doesn't matter if the stock that goes up five or one. He doesn't move the option higher. Now I'm going to tell you some of this stuff at, at the at close of this. So uh, understand it, because people are going to get wiped out if you don't pay attention. Okay? Shop, fourteen thirty-two. Roku, two forty-one, two forty-two accelerator. Baidu. It's not having a second day, even though Hansang is off. See if this takes out 252 early. UPST, 162. BTNX, 262, 271 underneath 241. 
Moderna, 272, 291, under 229. Google, I actually like the 2950s at the open at one. Very interesting. If the market were to run, reverse, go back through 4,800, maybe they spike Google on Pelosi. Then we see Tesla, all about 1,100, can't seem to get there. And if it doesn't get there even today, that's probably a tell into tomorrow, the numbers. Okay? Keep an eye on that. Okay. So what I want to tell you to pay attention to, the premiums, things that happened this year are not normal. Now, the UPSD going up, UPSD premium, think about this. A hundred points up on UPSD was always a dollar or two for a week, for a week. Think about this. Okay, go go look at Roku. Roku when it was like at three fifty, a hundred points up was two dollars. Wow. Amazon, every single week, two hundred points up is two to three or four dollars. Every single week. Okay. Wow. Ridiculous premium. Land research almost unplayable. Every single week, fifty points up is three or four dollars. 50 points up should be 20 cents. So what happens if he does nothing to the market for two or three months and all these things don't move? They move five points a week instead of moving 20 points a week. What happens if UPST starts moving five points a week? All those premiums, doesn't matter what side you buy, you go to shit and you go to zero. Sam's the only one in the whole world that tells you if you buy something, it can go to zero. Okay? Know this. The premiums are so escalated. If the market were to go back to how it used to be two, three, four, five years ago, people are going to get destroyed. They're going to get wiped out. Look at the Tesla 1200s or five. 150 points up are five. Now, you'll probably move 30 and they'll go to 15. Understand. But if Tesla moves, let's say it moves to 1080 today, and then Monday it goes to 1050, and then Tuesday 1080, and it goes in a 30-point range. Those things that were five would be one. You get wiped. The puts go to one. You get wiped. And only people that make money are calling put writers. Very, very, very possible. So know this. Don't overpay. Chill and wait. Relax. Wait. Think about it. We waited all day for those SPX puts to work yesterday, four, and we sold them at nine today. We sold them. And I would love the SPX to go positive, rip to 4,800. And then we do it again. And that's what we got. Everybody have a great and happy new year. Go Michigan. Go Michigan. Go Dallas Cowboys. That's what we know. Thanks, everyone.